Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Chipmist here and today we are going to be taking a look at Untethered 5.0.1 Jailbreak. Now this just came out and this works for the iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, the iPod 3rd generation and the 4th generation and the iPad 1. Now bad news that it does not work for the A5 devices uh, that is the iPad 2 and the iPhone 4S. So uh, today I'm going to be taking a look at how to jailbreak the iPhone uh, 3GS and I'm going to be using this uh, as uh, the phone that I'll be doing the jailbreak on in this video. So uh, the jailbreak is pretty simple, it just came out, go ahead and download the files required from the description below, I'll have the link to that and also my blog post on my channel. So go ahead and open up Red Snow and all you need to do is go ahead into the extras option and uh, select the IPSW file. Now this is not uh, important but uh, you might go ahead and do so for safety reasons. Now I'm using the iPhone 3GS so it's asking me to select it, uh, is it a fixed model or not. So mine is. So I'm going to be selecting on yes. I'm going to go ahead and uh, back out in the menu and jailbreak it. So I'm, when I click on the jailbreak option it's actually preparing the jailbreak and patching the coronal and all that stuff. And uh, once it's ready, it will give me an option to install Syria. I'm going to be clicking on install Syria and also install the iPad baseband. Now, this is only required for the people who are going to be unlocking their phones, as, uh, which I am. So I'm going to go ahead and put it into the DFU mode. Now, if you don't already know what is DFU mode, it's a mode that can restore it. So to put it into the DFU mode, all you need to do is to go ahead and turn off the phone. So uh, if you want, you can just go ahead and press the home and the power button itself for about 10 seconds at a stretch and keep holding the, uh, the both the buttons for 5 seconds more and just release the power button and keep holding the home button until and unless uh, the step skips ahead in red snow. So once it's done, it would go ahead and uh, upload the jailbreak. So to upload the first stage and the second stage. So uh, right here it is preparing the iPad basement because I selected it to uh, you know kind of install the iPad basement as well. Uh, preserving the basement and as you can see it is uploading the stages and it's waiting it for the reboot. So uh, as you can see on the iPhone itself it is rebooting and it's downloading the jailbreak data. And once you can see the screen you're, you're practically jailbroken. The next thing you will see your iPhone is jailbroken. So it's uploading the first stage, it's uploading the RAM disk and uh, well let's see what happens. So as we can see here uh, Red Snow gave us a notice that uh, it's uh, jailbroken and the rest of the uh, process takes place on the device itself. So uh, this was brought to you by uh, CH Pawn and Pod 2G and they worked really hard so thanks for them and uh, as you can see now on the iPhone itself the the jailbreak is almost done and yes uh, we have the Apple logo so once this uh, goes off we will have a untethered 5.0.1 jailbroken phone so as you can see we have a phone we have Syria and you can go ahead and use that right off so uh, this was a really simple jailbreak well thanks for watching guys do remember to subscribe to my channel above clicking the subscribe link above this video and if you guys are feeling awesome be sure to hit the like button below that really helps me out comment on the video below and uh, if you want you can also follow me at twitter at twitter.com slash chipmist and facebook.com slash chipmist also like my website at chipmist.com well until next time i'll see you guys later peace